Hello everyone. So today I encountered this uh, very common question on the community from Sharad and the question is very simple and the answer is also very simple but I will try to elaborate and I will also try to uh, highlight the points the main points that Sharad is uh, trying to raise. Another question is how to use or track story points at subtask level and uh, what Sharath is doing here is Sharath has also explained uh, or trying to give justification why this needs to be done now in case you don't know in Jira when, whenever you're using Jira software you can of course use story points but uh, the thing is that story points work at the story level and uh, if you're looking at any of the reports so for example if you're looking at burn down charts or if you are looking at let us say velocity chart for example those reports are going to consider and uh, those reports are going to simply focus on the uh, report based on or the i mean when you when you say let us say burning of story so when you start your sprint with 17.5 story points and you keep on burning those story points you're basically burning the story points at the story level now in Jira, you can always uh, use the story point field on the subtask level, but the reports won't really reflect that. Now, what Sharad is trying to understand is how can we do that? How can we make sure that the story points are used at the subtask level so that all the reports are going to reflect that? Now, this is of course not possible. That is, this, this is how not Jira works, Jira software works. And uh, what Sharad is doing is also trying to highlight or basically raise or basically trying to justify why this is needed. For example, what Sharad, what this question is telling us that uh, number one, team is not able to complete the story in a single sprint. So let us say you, you have a story with 20 subtasks. Now you, you did probably five of them, but not the remaining five. So of course, uh, there is a spillover. So you will probably finish that particular story in the next sprint. And then uh, what Sharad is also saying here that uh, the story represent uh, a single training course. So it is a bit difficult to further break it up because by looking at the first point here or the first excuse, whatever you want to call it, uh, it seems, uh, I mean, the first thought that will come to your mind is why not break stories further? So I'm, I'm still going to suggest that, yes, take a look at uh, those stories. If you're not able to finish them consistently in one sprint, your sprint duration could be three weeks or two weeks, whatever. But if you're not, not able to finish your stories in one sprint, then it means that your stories are probably too big. And a simple solution could be to also use epics. I'm, I'm not really sure if epics are being used here in this particular use case, but you, I mean, it's not really unique use, use case. So use epics. And Epic is nothing but a large story or, you know, combination of multiple stories. And you can take, usually you will take more than one story or not, not story. Usually you will need more than one sprint to complete one Epic. And if, if I try to, I mean, there is no hard and fast rule, but story is supposed to finish in one sprint and Epics are supposed to finish in one uh, program increment in case you're trying to follow safe or in case you want to say that, okay, yes, we have one Epic. And whenever you plan epics, you are probably planning for the work that needs to be delivered in the next uh, quarter or in the next, you know, few months, let us say three months, for example, I think three months makes sense. Now, yes, you use, use epics uh, in, in this particular case. And uh, apart from all this, if you still have a valid reason or if you think that you still need to track at the subtask level, then do it uh i mean purely on the basis of story points but you need to be, maybe build your own reports now, now the challenge with, with building your own reports is that it might create i mean when i say own reports i'm talking about doing something using for example easy bi so you can probably create a report in easy bi that will roll up estimates from subtask to stories to epics to you know higher levels that can work but at the same time you will have to educate your users that don't look at those velocity charts within the project go to this particular easy bi dashboard to look at those reports if, if if you can do that then fine this will probably work 
but i will still recommend that try to break up your stories further or use epics at the same time um there is also one more thing that you can do if you're using a uh, jira software and if you go to your board configuration so what you can do is you can still use story points which is of course at the sub not not sub task level but at the story level but you can track the work using a uh, time so you can do some kind of a mix of both and the good thing about uh, jira software scrum board is that you have the option here to basically i'll show you the board so let us go to the backlog so you have the option to use both story points i mean of course when you're doing your planning and for example these are the story points here uh and when you go to your board settings what you can do i mean be i mean it, it's more about edu education rather than the tool but what you can do is you can actually go to the estimation and uh, maybe for time tracking you can use uh, uh, this particular option here so so remaining uh, estimate and time spent basically what this will do this will now enable you or uh, it will actually give you this like a unique combination where you have, where where you are estimating based on story points but you are using a time tracking feature to basically burn the um burn the effort so this might work but at the same time this will probably a bit it can be a bit confusing if you don't really uh, tell your uh, users how this will uh, how you should actually read the report for example if you look at these reports uh, you you can of course take a look at the uh, story points but maybe you're using a uh, issue count for example i mean issue count can work in case you want to look at the issue count but if you look at the velocity chart the velocity chart will um will of course give you based on, i mean we will will of course uh, be focused on the story points so basically it, it can be a bit confusing so my recommendation would be to try to use story points within the project try to break up your stories further if you can otherwise uh, creating a custom report is of course the solution and you can do that using uh, easy bi easy bi is a wonderful app you can actually create your own customized uh, report a rolled up report that can show whatever information you want to show i mean of course uh, uh, you have the option to take a look at uh, different report. for example th th there is i mean if you install or if you start using easy bi you will get your own customized you will actually uh, be able to build your own uh, report but at the same time uh, you also have the option here to look at these uh, sample reports uh, that you will get from uh, easy bi out of the box you can of course modify it for example right now we are looking at uh, the sprint uh, or the story points committed versus completed but you should have here uh, uh, i mean of course we are talking about story points i mean you you can still do it using uh, the original estimate in case you worry about the original estimate and uh, because we are working on easy bi you can always create your own rolled up report and maybe you can uh, pick up the story points from sub task as well so this can be done and uh, it is of course not really complicated you might have to create some calculations i mean uh, i don't really think that will also solve the problem because it will probably create more problems in case you have two different versions because people e pe people usually want to look at the reports that you have within jira so it's it's probably more of a overhead where you will have to educate everyone okay don't look at these inbuilt velocity charts so so I, I, i'll be more in, inclined towards uh, just breaking up your stories further it may sound uh, I, i know it's sometimes the answer is straightforward and it is not really it, it is not really always easy to implement but uh, if you're using jira you have all the features of wonderful features of things that you can do with jira uh, but at the same time jira is also flexible so you have these options to explore and uh, based on these different options now i have given you multiple options uh, i mean uh, this is this is of course something that i'm trying to explain i'm I, i can give you multiple options as a consultant but at the at the same time i also have to tell you the pros and cons of each and every option so in my opinion uh, just sticking to the 
active Jira reports and using story points at the story level will keep things very simple for your team. And that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye bye.